now we have vision mamba if you are not familiar with mamba mamba is supposedly an alternative neural network architecture to transformers and we have seen different versions of mamba in couple of weeks back and now we have a vision mamba which means mamba would work for vision data not just text data and this is quite exciting for a very great future so in this paper we're going to learn about vision mamba and how does it fare against the existing transformer based models for a vision task the paper is called vision mamba efficient visual representation learning with bidirectional state space models this paper is coming from a bunch of uh, institutions from china i guess um i mean like mostly it looks like that so what is this paper is trying to do here is so this paper is trying to use this new architecture called mamba for a vision task now if you're not familiar with vision task or if you're not quite familiar with what we mean by vision a computer vision is a deep neural network subdomain where you use images to do certain task for example you have got an image uh, let's say an x-ray image and from that you need to classify whether the patient has got a pneumonia or not a pneumonia and that is a classification task you have an image and you want to detect an object in that like you want to see whether there is the presence of a car that is a detection task then you do segmentation where you pick different images so these are different kinds of downstream tasks that happen with image data set and this is you know largely part of computer vision even though we have been mostly dealing with large language models that are predominantly text recently computer vision is very critical it's critical in a lot of different places because humans create a lot of videos not just the videos that we create on smartphones but we have got like cctvs uh, we have got like this surveillance cameras we have got now we have got drones and all the other kind of stuff so people have a lot of videos and they want to process it they want to figure out stuff a lot of retail agents use vision data set to figure out what is the product that somebody is interested they want to create something like a bounce rate like whether you pick the product kept it back so vision is extremely important and scale is a very important aspect scale and uh, the latency is also an important aspect in vision unlike text so now having said that what they are trying to do here is they are trying to see okay mamba has been doing really good for uh, the long sequence modeling of text so if we can do something which is building efficient generic vision backbones purely upon ssms is an appealing direction the problem here is the representing visual data itself is a challenge for ssms due to the position sensitivity of visual data so if you see text text is a sequence but unlike vision which has like more you know complications and the requirement of a global context of the visual understanding so even if you split an image into let's say a grid of 8 by 8 you still have to have that global visual understanding the global context about what the entire picture is it's not like you can see eight individual pictures and then you can say okay this is maybe a picture of mona lisa so that global context is required also the position sensitivity of visual data so in this paper what they have done is they have shown that the reliance of visual representation on self attention which is the transformer based model is not necessary and propose a new generic vision backbone with a bidirectional mamba blocks which they are calling as vim uh, i think at this point we have so many vims so this is one of the vims of it which marks the image sequences with positional embeddings and compresses the visual representation with bidirectional state space models the most interesting thing is on image net classification which is a very popular data set coco object detection another data set or benchmarks ade 20k semantic segmentation vim achieves higher performance compared to well established vision transformer models like deit deit in this case is a paper or a model from meta ai i think it stands for a data efficient image transformer while also demonstrating a significantly improved computation and memory efficiency if you have seen my previous mamba videos you know one thing that people are obsessed with a transformer alternative architecture primarily because they want something that is more memory efficient that does not increase a lot when you increase the context window or input so in this case it could be like the resolution so for a higher resolution like 1248 by 1248 1200 1248 by 1248 vim 
shows that it is 2.8 times faster than DEIT and saves 86% of GPU memory. Like the transformer architecture would have hit OOM out of memory in this case, while Vim could actually perform the task for the batch inference to extract features on the images of a resolution 1248 by 1248. I think this is huge. This shows an exciting future. I've, I've been impressed by previous Mamba papers, but showing this kind of uh, scale, this kind of efficiency with vision is completely, I would say insane and exciting. If you purely want to look at the benchmarks, they've got downstream tasks like classification, semantic segmentation, I'm not sure, INS segmentation, some segmentation, detection, and if you see DEIT and Vim, so they've got like this two different models, couple of benchmarks. And if you see here, Vim, the Vision Mamba scores above every single, um, in every single instance, the Vision Mamba scores above the existing transformer equivalent that you have picked. And at this point, if you are familiar with computer vision models, especially the transformer based models, you might be asking a question yourself, but you know, why don't they use WIT? The, Vision Image Transformer, I think it's from Google, uh, rather than using uh, DEIT for comparison. Down in the table, they have got WIT as well, so we'll quickly see that. But the speed comparison, meanwhile, here is that you can see for 1248, there is a huge difference. It's also very important to note that at 738 pixels by 738 pixels, you don't see a difference between the Mamba based architecture, the Vision Mamba, the Vim and DEIT. So you don't see any difference here. The difference starts coming up once you increase the resolution size, which is very important and critical. For example, you want to do satellite imagery. You've got a high resolution picture, very high, and you want to go deeper into see something. Or imagine you have got an industry where you've got like you're generating PCBs for smartphones. You want to detect whether their PCB is faulty or good. These are like really high resolution tasks and resolution matters a lot there. And you can see that Mamba, Vision Mamba, Vim does quite well in these kind of tasks. And it is also faster and it doesn't eat your GPU. It saves 84% GPU here and that is like 86%, yeah. 86% GPU here and that is quite interesting and amazing. So what is this paper doing? This paper is doing four things for us. One, it introduces Vision Mamba or Vim, which incorporates bi-directional SSM. We'll quickly see the architecture for data dependent global visual context modeling and positional embeddings for the location aware vision visual understanding. Without the need of attention with, without transformers, the proposed Vim has the same modeling power as WIT while it has only a sub quadratic time computation and a linear memory complexity. So the memory is not like quadratically increasing or the time computation is not quadratically increasing. It is a sub quadratic time computation. Specifically, Vim is 2.8 times faster, which we have already seen. So we conduct extensive experiments on ImageNet classification, blah, blah, blah. And it says that this result demonstrates that Vim achieves superior performance. And finally, benefiting from the efficient hardware design of Mamba, Vim is much more efficient than the self-attention based DEIT for high resolution computer vision tasks like vision video segmentation, aerial image analysis, medical image segmentation, computational pathology. So this has huge impact in wherever you can use high resolution image. So to quickly take a look at the architecture. So if this is the input image, the input image is split into patches. So th these are the patches you can see. And then the patches are projected. Uh, so then project them into patch tokens. You can see the patch tokens here. And that is what is happening here. Now, if you want to do classification, you have to somehow say that this image, let's say it's a cancer image, or this is image, let's say a malignant tumor image, or this is a benign tumor image. So that information is required and that is what goes inside the class token here. And that goes inside the Vim encoder, the Vision Mamba encoder, and that is where it goes. And the bi-directional uh, part that they were talking about is this. So uh, if you know BERT type of models, B-E-R-T, BERT type of models, are bi-directional models which could be also used to predict text in the opposite direction or like most of the times people use it for fill in the blanks in the middle while most of the other models that we see these days are like unidirectional models which will go only one direction so this in this case image case this is a bi-directional model 
and uh, different from mamba for text sequence modeling we encoder processes the token both forward and backward direction so this is the high level architecture um it's it's really good in fact uh, if you compare it with the uh, wit you can see that uh, the image net top 1% accuracy for wit is 78% and 76% for two different variants. And here you can see the Vim Wamba one is 73%, the second one is it is hitting 80%. So with the similar amount of quality of the model, or uh, even for example, the number of parameters is less here, you are hitting almost similar or better accuracy while having lesser computation power. And also you are able to scale it much more than, you know, I don't know how many of you know, but a lot of image processing used to happen at 128 by 128 256 by 256 even when stable diffusion started it was all 512 by 512 but what vision mamba shows us is that when you increase the resolution transformers may not hold up really well but vision transformer or oh sorry vision, vision mamba vim model here would probably give you uh, more efficiency that means less latency in this case and also the memory would be much lesser so it's I think at this point, like it's like a no brainer for anybody to use Vision Mamba for tasks like this, especially when the image resolution is high, but you can go ahead and then read the rest of the paper. And if you're more technical than me, of course, you will understand more things on the paper. Now, if you're questioning about whether they release the code and the models as promised on the paper, it is not yet out. So on Jan 18th, uh, they have released the paper and uh, they are going to release the code and models very soon. So if you want to follow, you can start the repository. And in one of the last videos, one person asked me, is this a sponsored video? Definitely, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just telling people to start the repository because it always gives a pleasure to the developers. And uh, this is Vision Bomba. Very interesting, promising uh, direction uh, starting in January itself. Like I'm very excited to see what is going to happen at the end of the year. So anyways, we have got an efficient neural network architecture that can do really well for vision tasks as well. See you in another video. Happy prompting.